Magical Sparks, welcome back to my channel, it's Sparkle here and in today's video we're not making just one or two drawings but we're going to be making a whole heap more and in specific I'm going to be teaching myself how to draw the things that I really just don't know how to draw so it's going to be kind of fun, kind of chaotic and just lots of fun to chill with so feel free to grab your sketchbook and join the fun. Also to start this video off let's do a really quick art supply slash stationery haul. So I was out shopping the other day and I saw a bunch of art supplies so I decided to get them but these ones are kind of different so first off we have these kind of like wooden circular kind of mini canvases that you can attach together and I thought this would be a really good kind of thing to use for a future video if I decide to like paint I guess my subscribers profile pictures or like a series of fan art or just like my original characters or something I don't know maybe something like that we'll figure it out as we go and I just thought they're really nice so I got them the second thing that I got was this adorable little journal yeah Yes, it's Frozen, yes, it's Disney, and yes, it's never too old to be young and to love cartoons and kids' movies. And also, it just has like such a pretty color palette. I love the pages. I love how there's like this little section in the back to put extra pieces of paper, and the bookmark is adorable. So, I mean, of course, why not get it? And with that aside, the next thing I got was this kind of humongous canvas. Well, it's not really that big, but to me, it is pretty big because it's much bigger than the paper size that I normally draw slash paint on so I thought it might be like a kind of fun challenge to try out in a future video maybe just by myself and now these are things that my parents got me as like a surprise so the first thing we have is this sketchbook from Daiso it's pretty big and the paper feels really thick and I'm really excited to use it I actually have a smaller version of this sketchbook that I used um, once in the past and I loved it so much and I didn't use it because I was like oh no what if the paper runs out but you know what now I've got two so I'm definitely going to be using them next up they got me two sets of construction paper so I don't know what construction paper is but it sounds really cool and it looks really cool and I haven't used it yet but I'm really excited to try it out I'm probably gonna try it out today and draw princess peaches um, and maybe post that as a shorts video but <laughs> we'll see and here's the second pack and you just cannot see it because it's that big and I just couldn't fit it on my desk and here's how big it is compared to my hand and just for reference because I mean why not here's how big it is compared to my dog it is really big and I can't wait to draw on it and maybe create like a really humongous illustration maybe using all my hoo hoo markers because that was something that was kind of requested by a couple of people but not making any promises just putting out ideas anyways if you guys do like any of these ideas let me know in the comments because I mean I would love to try it out why not <laughs> I also got this sketchbook as well it's such a pretty sketchbook because I haven't seen a sketchbook with such a pretty cover in I think all my life it's also pretty hard on the outside which is good for protection and there's a lot of pages inside and it's pretty thick as well so I did decide to try it out with my markers while the paper is thick it's kind of like textured and because of that the ink slightly expands but honestly it's not that bad I think it's just a different kind of paper so I just need to find a way that works for me when I'm using it and with that something that I almost forgot to show in this video was the washi tape that I also got because like I can't not show this it's so pretty I mean look at that golden color like it's so amazing it's so glittery and perfect and it looks even better on paper and not to mention the green turquoise colors they are so pretty as well I mean what's not to love these washi tapes are literally the best washi tapes I've seen in terms of design and quality as well honestly and now it's time to go on to the drawing part of this video where I'm going to be trying to draw the things that that I'm not really that good at drawing or just don't know how to draw. So the very first thing that I did was I went ahead and took some of that beautiful washi tape and added some to the top and bottom of the spread just to make it pretty no matter how the drawing turns out because I mean honestly I did not have my hopes up but <laughs> anyways the next thing I did was I got out a sticky note and I decided to write down my goals and honestly I just kind of came up with these things on the spot as I was recording which is why it took me quite a while to write them down but here is the list. First thing I want to learn how to draw are clothing folds because that's something that I'm not really the best at and I need to practice. Second thing is side profiles. I feel like no matter how much I try, I can just never get it to look accurate. Then we have animal poses, but um, just a quick thing. I only ended up doing one pose because, oh, oh well. And then I also want to learn how to draw like gems and diamonds, as well as how to kind of draw like roses or flowers in a bit more of like a realistic way. Because 
I haven't drawn a realistic kind of flower in quite some time. And those were my goals for today's video. So, so without any more further ado, let's get into the drawing portion of today's video. Also, while this list does look pretty small and it just feels like, hey, it's just five things, right? It was quite a bit for me to do and it did take me quite a while to actually draw. So let's just work with what we got. And maybe I could make a second part to this video where I try drawing other things that I need to practice as well. And just because I was feeling like it today, I decided to go ahead and fill this entire spread out using a ballpoint pen so wish me luck also by the way i have a question like how do you draw like actually how do you draw because this is a question that i've been thinking of for quite a while it was a question that i used to ask everyone as a little kid it was a question that people sometimes ask me nowadays and i don't know how to answer this question i know people say practicing is the best way to learn how to draw but are there any other ways to learn how to draw i don't know let me know your thoughts in the comments Okay, now I don't really draw myself that often, but the very first drawing in today's video is actually of myself. So we went shopping the other day and we just took a couple of photos and I decided to use one of those photos as reference today because the clothes I was wearing did have a lot of folds and because the sunlight was like perfectly setting at the same time, you could kind of see the folds and I was like, this is the perfect reference image for me to use so I can kind of practice how to draw clothing folds. So that's what we're doing. And this drawing, as always, does doesn't really look like me because I don't know what but I can never get my drawings to look exactly like me but <laughs> hey that's totally fine but the main focus is obviously the clothing fold so I did try my best and well you guys will find out how it went very soon anyways now jumping back to the question how does one learn how to draw I think that practicing is part of the process along with that it's also important to have some kind of reference in front of you so you can like kind of interpret it and create your own version of it and I think just I didn't really know like there's a lot of elements that matter when it comes to learning how to draw and while it would be nice to have a definitive answer while my childhood self would have loved to have some kind of definitive answer saying do this and this and you'll learn how to draw like an amazing artiste I would have loved that but that's not really the case and I think that's kind of a good thing because we each learn how to draw differently and in that sense our art processes and our art journeys are very unique and and it kind of just builds up a part of our identity. So guys, I don't really have an answer as to this is how you learn how to draw, but I think my best advice and something I say a lot in all of my videos is just learn how to love the process because once you learn how to love the process, once you fall in love with the idea of creating, then everything will come to you in perfect time. Also, I just want to say that I'm so, so grateful for where we are at today with our like channel subscriber count like we are so close to 70,000 subscribers which is completely insane I never thought we would get this far especially not this soon and I'm above and beyond grateful also if you guys can notice any kind of difference in the audio quality today that's because my parents surprised me with this amazing microphone set for recording voiceovers and it's literally just gold it's so amazing I'm using it right now and it's just making things is so much easier for me and I'm just like above and beyond grateful thank you guys so so much like if it weren't for you guys none of this would have been possible and you guys are just amazing thank you so much for that and now for the second drawing we're going to be going ahead and drawing a person with a side profile so for this drawing I kind of just I used a reference but I kind of decided to shake things up and do it my way as well so uh I don't know I tried <laughs> I'm actually pretty happy with how the drawing turned out though I think I think the biggest thing that I always struggle with is making sure that the nose, mouth and like the jaw are all like kind of proportionately accurate but I'm getting there and I'm pretty happy with how this drawing turned out. I'm also kind of happy that I decided to use pen because while it was a bit of a struggle and a bit intimidating because I couldn't really erase, I did have the option of using whiteout when I really needed it. And drawing with pen kind of just helped me to add that cross hatching and extra textures and not worry too much about having to use pencil and add that perfect blending. So in that sense, I kind of liked it. Also the final page, I think in my opinion, turned out really nice mainly because of the fact that I used pen. I just think it looked really, really cool. 
And now you can see me using the correction pen because I realized that I made the eyebrows just a little bit too long or at least longer than it was in the reference and something just looked a bit off so I just tried to fix that up. And honestly the turtleneck and the bun and the earrings they were all my idea but the main facial features were just based off the reference. And while the footage is sped up, the drawing was actually something that I took my time with in real life. I really just didn't want to rush it, so I did work really slowly and I took my time, tried to enjoy the process, and like I said before, I tried to fall in love with the process because that really helps when you're learning because falling in love with the process just kind of keeps that frustration from arriving. And now time for the next part, which is animal poses. At least that's what I initially thought. So when I wrote that down, my idea was to go ahead and draw like at least three different animals in three different poses, or maybe just like draw my dog in three different poses because I kind of need to practice drawing him in a pose that isn't just the sit or the lay down pose. So that was my idea, but then I was going through my photos and I found this old photo of this little like decoration that I used to put near my bedside table and I was like oh my gosh this is so adorable let's draw that so what I'm drawing right now is not actually a real dog but it's kind of like this little statue of a dog that looks kind of real and it's kind of just like a little French bulldog I'm pretty sure the breed is sitting in a mug again it's not real but um, it looks pretty real and I decided to draw that today so that's why instead of drawing animal poses we went to do instead one unique animal pose <laughs> so yeah it's fine also when I was doing the cross hatching or like you know the hatching at this point I was so worried because I was like no I'm gonna make this drawing look so bad when I do it but then I started doing it and it turned out so good I mean just look at the shading near the eyes it looks so cool it's so like abstract but I love it <laughs> also with the mug I kind of made it look a bit stiff but hey it's a mug doesn't really matter let's look at the dog the dog is the important part the dog is the cute part and that's what matters now, don't take me wrong here, I love, love, love using markers, but sometimes it's just really nice not to use markers and just use something where you don't have to stress about the colors, but instead stress about the details. <laughs> okay, now the next one is gems slash diamonds. So initially I thought maybe I could draw the back of the pen I was using, but then I was like, that is gonna be a bit complicated. So I decided to grab out my ring and maybe try drawing that instead. Not that it's less complicated because um, of any reason, but just because my brain was like, eh, let's just draw the ring so I was like okay and I took a photo of it I zoomed in used that as my reference and I kind of just jumped into this drawing without really knowing what I was doing and I feel like maybe watching a tutorial would have helped me but for some reason I didn't think of that at the moment but hey it's totally fine this is just how I want to learn how to draw and there is no right or wrong way when it comes to learning how to draw so <laughs> let's just go ahead and draw this and I kind of took the abstract approach so I looked at the main shapes in the image then I kind of added my own details added my own shading and in the end it turned out looking pretty fancy I mean I don't know if it looks like a gem, but it looks like something pretty cool. So I'm pretty happy with how it turned out as well. And now the next thing we're going to be drawing once this is done is a rose. And I still need to practice how to draw roses, but hey, I just gave it a try and I'm really proud of myself for giving it a try. I mean, I think that's what matters the most. Also, enjoy these close-up shots because I find them really satisfying all the time. <laughs> okay, now back to what I was saying. I love using markers as much as the next person, but sometimes using a medium that doesn't really require you to think about colors is also just really nice and relaxing because at those times you can focus more on the techniques you use, the details you add, and just how you make the drawing visually interesting without using color. Which is why I love drawing with pen. I feel like I kind of stopped drawing with pen or like started drawing less with pen once I started my channel because I was kind of nervous like what if I mess up a page and like my subscribers see it and think I'm not good at art or something but like honestly nowadays I'm realizing that it really just doesn't matter like I can draw what I want to draw and like I was looking Looking at my old sketchbooks and in a lot of my old sketchbooks I did use pen and a lot of the drawings were kind of like chaotic and catastrophic but hey they look pretty nice and I kind of want to start using pen in my newer sketchbooks as well including this one because 
I don't think I should limit myself just because other people are watching me do what I love. I feel like in fact I should be using this to kind of express myself in a more free way. So that's what we're going to be doing in the future. Okay, also talking about pens, so for my first ever mermaid drawing this year, I decided to draw the mermaid with pen. Um, well, it wasn't really my first because I was super busy on the first day of May, so I did it on the second day of May, then I kind of just stopped because I'm still very busy. Anyways, less about that, more about mermaid. I decided to draw a mermaid with pen because I just did not have enough time on the day to go and draw a full illustration with like a bunch of details, a bunch of color and line art and everything. So I used pen and that way I could like draw the mermaid very quickly and also just add like really cool details and everything so I really enjoyed it and I don't know I think just drawing with pen is just really a fun thing and it's a really accessible thing like pens are something that generally almost everyone has so my point here is art is accessible to almost everyone and it's really important just to create what you love with what you got and also just make sure don't force yourself to draw something you're not interested in or to use a medium just because that's something you've always been using always feel free to step out of your comfort zone and try new things because you don't know what you're gonna find and you don't know how much it might just change your life <laughs> anyways with that guys we are done with all the drawings in today's video so here's our edited checklist and here is the final spread and I also decided to use my Artex gold metallic pencil to kind of like color in the background and I think it just brought the page together so much more and here's just a final look at everything as you can see the details aren't perfect but no one ever said they have to be and yeah here's how it turned out anyways guys let me know your thoughts in the comments and if you guys also like drawing with ballpoint pen or if you like drawing with pencils i would be interested to know also just look at that glitter shimmering in the light isn't it absolutely gorgeous this washi tape is just like honestly the highlight of this spread in my opinion <laughs> Anyways, guys, that is it for today. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope you guys all have a fabulous day. Stay awesome as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye-bye, Magical Sparks.